Welcome back to Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. I'm Burning Dog Face, and the Halloween exploration continues. Even though, unexpectedly, today's videos aren't very scary, and it looks more like Christmas than Halloween. Well, that's what happens when you screw around with time travel. Where the fuck am I going? Wonder how much effort they put into, uh... Oh my god, really? Does every fucking door here work? Wonder how much effort they went to to make the, uh... The modern ruins line up with the old place. Have I been here? Yes, okay. Nope, not listening. I will not use my ammo on you. I didn't think you would come out, just making sure. Oh, yeah, this is where I came in. This is the door I didn't check out, I think. Or is this the one that led to the abbot? Fuck! Way too many doors here. You know what I'm reminded of? Uh, fear. F-E-A-R. Hey, some actual lore for a change. Uh, because... It's str it's stuck... Hmm. Monday, transcribe. Tuesday, transcribe. Wednesday, transcribe. Thursday, replace window and church tower. Friday, transcribe. Saturday, transcribe. Sunday, rest. Transcription Stuck. Won't budge. is when you... Well, again, this, is, uh, this would have been before the printing press, I think. A transcription is when you just take an existing book and, uh, or like a scroll or something, and you copy it out by hand. That's how books were made back in the day. That's, yeah. I felt it would have been impolite to shoot a man of God in the back while he was praying. Even if he had been corrupted by, uh, evil power. That was, uh, as in me gathering my words, not, uh, as in really bad grammar. Wait a minute. I hear an amplifier down here. <gasps> Fifty guys run in. I don't know which of my spells to upgrade. Are you real? It's kinda hard for me to tell sometimes. Oh, fuck. Your skin is thick, Irishman. Prepare to meet thy maker. Hmm. I don't think I'd saved in a while, so... The, th the thing that reminds me of, of fear, because of course this is a very different experience than fear, is that, uh... Fear took place in a very, very large office building, for the most part. And 
one of the things that struck me Bob was bunch. that jammed stuck it never really felt like stuck jammed It never really felt like I was walking through a video game level. And here's this streamlined, linear area that you've got to walk through in order to uh, get to the next, uh, you know, level. You know, with all these nooks and hidey holes. Because... Stuck. The offices in Fear had a lot of spaces that served no purpose at all for a video game level. You know, they didn't have ammo or anything in them. But they clearly served a purpose to uh, an office building. You know, it's like, oh, here's a, you know, here, here's a room with a fucking photocopier and a whole bunch of paper in it. It's not exactly useful to your first-person shooter shooty man, but, uh... You know, I'm sure that the people who work here are very grateful about its presence. Wait... Oh shit, these two areas are connected! Oh, I didn't even mention the uh, comments I received. Uh, Core Matrix Mod asked me if I'd noticed the creepy woman in the control menu. Well, I sure have now. Ugh. I don't know how the hell I didn't see that. Oh, and uh, I think it's... Yeah, the audio menu appears to have a drowned woman. So that's kind of fucked. Hmm. Nothing especially gross here. I won't click on website, because I'm pretty sure that will open up... The one, that will open up, uh, my browser. And two, I don't feel like the website will even be there anymore. I feel like they'll have let the domain lapse, or it will just be a redirect back to EA's website. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jammed. Alright, give me a minute, folks. I want to try something. Okay, the, uh... The audio seems less staticky. Won't budge. Well, maybe a little. Jammed. I wonder if it's Fraps doing it. Hmm. Organic, that's the term I was trying to think of. Uh... Yeah, you win some, you lose some. The level design in Fear felt very organic, because it felt like a real place that this that these events happened to be taking place in, as opposed to, you know, this is a video game level that, that is themed after, uh... Oh, that's creepy. Is that a howler? In red briefs. No, it feels we've made it worse.
use the Abbott key. Oh, fuck, this is relocked up the scythe. I don't like that ominous humming. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I'm dying. Another key. I don't want that. You know, I was thinking there would only be one abbot. But now I realize I guess I'm thinking of the guy in charge of an abbey. This is a monastery. I don't know what the fuck the rules are here. <gasps> Jesus, Patrick, it's just the dark. I kid, that probably wasn't me. Keeping an eye out for invisible bullshit. Oh, fuck. Honestly, I don't know that I can hit them from here. Fortunately, if I keep moving, I don't think they can hit me from here either. Oh hell, is that supposed to jump out there? Hmm, they did hit me. Piss. Yup. That is what I was supposed to do. Now what? Hey, hey, I'm over here. Hmm. I don't think I can just jump up here. No. Oh, yes, I can. So yeah, I just can't walk up that. I have to jump each time. This is why they added an auto jump feature to Minecraft. I see it. Piss. Fuck. Shit. AIDS! Made it this far. Patrick, extend your arm and take the fucking crystal. I didn't think so, but you know. Should I even go? Mm. Really? Fucking Robin Hood couldn't make that shot. Okay, maybe Robin Hood could make that shot. Brother, you ain't him. Oh. Before 
I jump down, that's really ominous. Oh, well, let's just do that. Another note here. SE Tech informed me, based on a comment I made last time, uh... Sorry, I just realized I forgot to restart my timer after that latest jump cut. Prepare to meet thy maker. Okay. You gonna, you know... I wonder if that guy just invented the, uh... Man, what if that was the guy who invented the pre-fight badass line? Just destroyed all of uh, action movie history. Sorry, S.E. Tech informed me that, uh, the Tommy Gun was invented in 1918 and, uh, you know, produced as a commercial product in 1921. So, yeah, it is entirely feasible that there could be Tommy Guns in Ireland in 1923. Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm lost somewhere in the 13th century, so, you know... Ooh, ooh, that's gotta be it! The scythe of the Celt! Sorry, the... I know it's not the, uh, the soft C, but it just rolls off the tongue. The scythe of the Celt. Oh, right. I'll take it. Okay. Bless me, Father, for I am about to sin. Oh, fuck, it's one of those guys. Three amplifiers? Man. Okay. He's reloading his weapon. doing like force choking the guy yeah smack the guy around a bit huh different death animation Thanks, guys. You're a credit to your original calling. So I guess I've got to destroy this thing, huh? I get the feeling the shit's going to hit the fan in a serious way when I pick that thing up. Oh. Won't budge. Won't budge. That's where I came from. Stuck. Oh, 
What the fuck is the point of that then? Okay, fuck it. Let's go back the way I came. Right. Oh well. Maybe it's how to open the escape door and it won't actually open until I pick up the scythe. This can't be good. No! Oh! I'm on fire! Father, shield me from harm. Fucking kidding me, right? This thing is a weapon? Like, oh, I'm just immediately back in the present. Scythe. I find this scythe of the Celt to be quite a disturbing force. It's clear from the history of this weapon that it is particularly effective in exterminating the most heinous of entities. At times, it seems to pull me in directions of combat, and it, almost as if it's seeking pain and destruction. Wreaking havoc on my mana when it's in my hands for a long duration, it seems to replenish my health in particularly frenzied fighting. I've learned to not fear many things in my life, but there's something within this weapon that stirs a horror within me I cannot explain. Oops. That's not how you do uh, alt fire in this game, you silly goose. Oh, there is an alt fire. An alt fire that drains my mana. That's what he meant by that. So I guess it's just regular swing, super swing? And what happened to this? Have the static all nice and ironed out. Now it's returned to the fiery vengeance. Lame. Okay. All right. among us yeah huh, that thing fell clean off the wall I don't think that would have happened another thing rotted away because it's made of wood of course it looks like they actually did make an effort they probably designed the uh, the past stages first <gasps> and then base the ruins around them. Wow, well, there's a health kit here. Well, now that I'm back in... Huh? 
That was not there before. Nothing back in good old 1923. Well, it was there before. Yeah, that's how I got there. Fuck. Oh well. I guess I'll never know what that switch does. This stupid thing out of my hands. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. Now that I've got this scythe, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with it, or why I went to all the trouble to get it, if it's supposed to corrupt people and make them crazy. But I hope you guys have a... or are having a safe and happy Halloween. And I'll see you next time. Later!